Life Plus in Demaris, the great success in marine conservation. For six years, nearly 300 experts have worked on Life Plus in Demaris, the most ambitious European marine conservation project in recent decades. The challenge of this project funded by the European Commission has been to study and protect large marine areas, confirming their ecological value. A race against time, assisted by the latest cutting-edge technologies that have enabled us to reach from the sky to 2,000 meters below the surface of the sea, to monitor the flights of birds, count cetaceans, film deep water corals. In the Mares has supposed primero un reto. Teníamos que acceder a unos fondos hasta ahora inaccesibles. In the Mares has used pioneering cutting edge technology. Both underwater robots and remotely operated vehicles were used, along with a broad variety of tools for taking photos, samples, and filming, both on the seabed and in the water column. Oceanographic research vessels and other smaller vessels traveled thousands of miles to fulfill this project's ambitious goals. This unprecedented effort enabled the documentation of previously unexplored places and the discovery of dozens of new species for science. For the first time, extremely deep, distant offshore areas were systematically studied. Until now, they had been relegated to obscurity because they are so difficult to access. And it was found that the marine biodiversity in Spain is possibly the richest and most varied in Europe. Indemares has worked in all three marine bioregions, the Atlantic, the Mediterranean, and Macronesia. In the Atlantic, the Galician Seamount was documented. This submarine elevation is located 200 kilometers from the coast and between 1,500 and 5,000 meters below the surface of the water. In the Bay of Biscay, it was found that Aviles Canyon is actually a complex system of canyons, as well as home to a cold water coral reef located some thousand meters below sea level. In the Gulf of Cadiz, scientists have studied strange mud volcanoes that spew methane. A decision to extend the protection around Alboran Island was taken after confirming the enormous biodiversity hidden in its seabed. Nearby, Chela Seamount, a small submarine elevation with a huge variety of species and habitats, from coralline algae gardens to deep water corals, in addition to being an important area for the migration of whales, turtles, and other species, was filmed. In the Menorca Channel, located between the islands of Menorca and Mallorca, researchers saw areas with black corals, which have almost disappeared in the western Mediterranean. Not far from here, both the seabed of the Columbretes Islands, as well as the surface of the Ebro Delta, one of the most important seabird feeding areas in the Mediterranean, were studied. Off Cape Creus, in the system of submarine canyons of the western Gulf of Lyon, researchers counted one-third of all known species in the Mediterranean. In the Macronesian region, the marine area east and south of Lanzarote and Fuerteventura Islands was confirmed as one of the most important in the world for cetaceans, holding one-third of all known species. The spectacular reefs of the El Banquete and Amanai submarine elevations were found here. And lastly, Conception Seamount, a submarine elevation in the Atlantic in which numerous endemic and vulnerable species appeared, was explored. All this documentation has been analyzed on land and cross-matched with a comprehensive study of the human uses of each of the proposed areas. Participatory seminars and conferences were also held so that stakeholders, particularly fishermen, could be heard. And so the great scientific and technological challenge of Indemares became a success on a European level, with the declaration of 10 sites of community importance and 39 special protection areas, covering altogether an area of nearly 8 million hectares. The project of Indemares has supposed a point of inflection in the conservation marine in Spain.
Life Plus in Nemares has been a landmark in scientific research and marine protection, but also a landmark in coordination. Coordinated by the Biodiversity Foundation, the project included participation by nine other entities. The Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Environmental Affairs, the Spanish Institute of Oceanography, the Spanish Council for Scientific Research, ALNITAC, the Coordinator for the Study of Marine Mammals, Oceana, the Society for the Study of Cetaceans in the Canary Archipelago, SEO BirdLife, and WWF. It has also allowed us to come closer to the goal of protecting 10% of the world's marine regions, as set out in the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity, of which Spain is a signatory. In the Mares, knowledge-based conservation.